Now you see, now you see, I saw your hip hop is real interview. All right. I'm not mad at your opinion. We all have opinions. You feel like what you jot or whatever you don't jot down on paper because you keep it in your mind, you said, you feel like that's better than what Mook writes. I don't have a problem with that. We all have opinions. Quantum physics feels the same thing. I'm pretty sure Chilla Jones feels the same thing. Danny Myers feels the same. I'm pretty sure all of these battle rappers with dope pens feel like they write better than Murder Mook. Cool. That's your opinion. No problem with that. The problem is when you start comparing yourself to him. That's where the problem comes in. And I don't see how you don't understand that by now. You know what I'm saying? To be honest with you. Like, you sat there on camera and really said who's really the GOAT. The things I don't jot down, who's really the GOAT? Like, bro, in the same interview, you said, all right, all right. The only thing these, these battles be having over me is preparation and consistency. Bro, without preparation and consistency, there's no way you are going to be in the GOAT category. Number one, I'm going to be honest with you. You're not going to be in the GOAT category, period, because of your past already. You, bro, you've had your hand held for a very long time now. Just got to be honest. You have. Yes, we see the, the it factor in you. Yes, you should be the face of URL right now. If you prepared and you was consistent, you probably would be. But Geechee Gotti, has, he, he took that ball and ran with that. You know what I'm saying? That should have been you. You do realize that, right? That was supposed to be you. But you took this for a joke, and Geechee Gotti really did. You know what I'm saying? And he ran with it. He ran with it. Even though Geechee was doing this thing, it was still, it looked like, designed for you to be the face. You fumbled the ball so many times. Geechee took it and ran with it. And he didn't just run with it. Then he turned around and made a fire podcast. Then he turned around and made a fire league. He, he did what you're supposed to do. See, here's the thing about it. I get the vibe that you... Just look at battle rap like, yo, I'm nice at it. I can get paid for it, so I'm here. Like you said, you don't care about the GOAT and all that. You don't care about the... You think that... You respect the fans who respect Mook, but you don't respect Mook, but that's the problem. No one's saying you should worship him, but at least, at least look at the worth ethic he puts in. Forget the fact he changed all your lives by having one bar in the battle. He opened your eyes up to what real money was. You wasn't even battling back then. You were still a fan of him. I know you was a fan of him. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like, I don't care, like like the, the, the bashing mook, whatever, but make sense is where I'm coming from. Make sense about it. You don't make no sense in my opinion. Yes, you are exciting. Yes, you are flashy, but you did it to yourself. You got to understand something. You battled in front of uh, Floyd Mayweather, DNA, who is a legend, who is respected, who's known internationally. And you got there on that stage and said, I don't care about this battle. You think anybody could do that? You have a lot of favoritism in your corner, and you've always had that. Yes, you, it was skill included, but they were waiting for you to get it down packed. You never got it down packed, bro. You never, ever, ever got it down packed. And I get it. You're doing all of this because you want to battle with Mook. I get it. You, you got a two-on-two with him, cool, but you actually want to battle Mook. I know you want to battle Mook. Get better, and there will be something to talk about. Don't you... Like, I'm going to be real true. If I was a battle rapper, I would feel stupid. If I was Blake, man, I'll trash this dude. And he'd be like, what? Look at his resume. Why, why would I even battle him? That that has to burn your soul when someone can look at your battle rap career and be like, why would I battle him? Do you know if Mook says no to you, he's not ducking you? Your accolades don't line up with battling murder Mook. Just being honest. Just being honest. Same way you have an opinion, I have one also. You know what I'm saying? And this is not even a bash twerk, to be honest with you. But let's be honest here. We don't need a bunch of people who really can't even hold their own weight like that, trashing people who have led the way, not just led the way, but came back and is still putting on. You're sitting here talking about people are still stuck on Mook with the dot in his head, dot in his chest, dot in his leg, which is a very important classic and bad rep, yes. But how did you conveniently miss what he just did to Tay Rock? What he just did to Tay Rock? And if anybody put in work, you said Cal put in work, that's a fact, so has Tay Rock. Tay Rock ain't even put it in work. Tay Rock was the face of the machine. And Mook just did him a certain kind of way. And you was the one who wanted to battle Tay Rock. So I don't understand how that really works. Where you want to battle Tay Rock. Because you think Tay Rock is dope. But Tay Rock clearly just lost to Mook. 
but you don't think Mook is dope. I get it. I get it. You want to battle with Mook. My thing about it is this. The battle is going to come faster probably if you do good and talk trash at the same time. That's when it will come back. Gichi Gotti will probably get Mook before you at this point. You do realize that, right? That keep telling y'all, man. Y'all be messing up your legacies and twerk. You didn't have a legacy that that embedded in battle rap yet before you started messing it all up. It really made no sense. All you got to do is write your bars, prepare. You know what preparation is, right? Like, take your time and get it down pat so you're not on stage forced. You're sitting here saying, I pulled out my phone and was nothing in there. I've never seen Mook pull out his phone for a battle. That's embarrassing alone. Do you realize back in the day you pulled out your phone and... Do you know what kind of boo you would get? Are you crazy? We might not even see you again, bro. You're sitting here talking about the bars he produces. I ain't hear him recycle since 2001. You doing that now. You're doing that now. It was acceptable back then. It's not acceptable now. You do it now. How can you compare yourself to Mook? Like, what are you talking about, bro? Listen, bro, stop getting drunk and just jumping in front of these interviews talking crazy. Like, stop doing that because you make yourself look a certain kind of way. We just want to see you do good and produce and, and push the culture forward. That's the only reason why they had you in the limelight. If you're going to be here and not put you forward and just be still on onto the old tricks, uh, you recycling and, and, and this, and if you're going to keep doing that again, I don't even know why you'd be in front of these interviews then. Step up to the plate. Everybody had all their trust in you being a superstar. I personally feel like you being a superstar is so hard for you. You looking at it like, man, I'd rather play the villain role. That way I can mess up and it's not going to matter. I feel like you're looking at it like that. Like you're trying to take a verb spot and you want to be a villain. You don't got to be a villain, bro. You don't have to be a villain. Ain't you eating good? Like, I don't understand y'all. Like all you got to do is, is, is prepare and be consistent. You should have, if you're that dope, if you're this so-called GOAT, you're questioning why people think Mook is the GOAT, and you feel like you're the GOAT, then why can't you consistently win? That literally makes no sense to me. I'm wondering, do you know what GOAT is? We're not talking about bad, bad, that, we're not talking about that kind of a GOAT. Or is that a sheep? Whatever. You know what I'm trying to say. You know what I'm saying? We're not talking about trying to make GOAT cheese and nothing like that, bro. GOAT is an acronym for greatest of all time. You have no right questioning why people are considering Mook to go over you. That makes no sense. Okay? I want you to understand that. You can have your own opinion. You, you can have it. You can have your own opinion. You make no sense. Don't say you're the GOAT. Shut up and prove it.